In this video, I have a student helping you learn how to do empirical formulas of hydrates. Okay, today we'll be doing the analysis of a hydrate of iron 3 chloride revealed that in a 10 gram sample of the hydrate, 6 grams is anhydrous iron 3 chloride. Determine the formula and name of that hydrate. In smaller terms, we are trying to find the number of water molecules present in this sample of iron 3 chloride. The different parts of the hydrate formula include the anhydrate, in this case it is iron 3 chloride, and the water. Together that makes the hydrate. If we know that the total mass of the hydrate is 10 grams and 6 grams are present for the anhydrate, then we can conclude that 4 grams are uh, the mass of the water present. Now we need to know the amount, the mole amount for both the anhydrate and water. To do so, we'll use dimensional analysis. If we have six grams of iron three chloride, we now need to know the molar mass for one mole of iron three chloride. So if we refer to our periodic table, we know that iron has a molar mass of 55. 0.845. Since we have three chlorides, we must do 35.4527, multiply that by three, and then I get, I'm just going to add the molar mass of iron. We get a hundred and 162.2 grams of iron 3 chloride. So we have to divide 6 grams by 162.2 grams, and we now have 0 0.0369 moles of iron 3 chloride in this sample. We have to do the same thing for water now. Now I hope you guys know that water is just H2O. So hydrogen is 1.008. We're going to multiply that by 2 since it's H2O. Now we're going to add the molar mass of oxygen, which is 15.99. We get an answer of 18.006 grams of H2O. If four grams are present in this sample, And we know that one mole accounts for 18.006 grams, then we do the same thing. 4.00 divided by 18.006. Our remaining, our remaining answer is 0 0.22 moles of water. Now at this point, we do have the amount of moles present in the sample. However, in a hydrate formula, we must have whole numbers in the final answer. So the anhydrate has a molar mass of 0 0.0369 moles, while the water has a molar mass of 0 0.22 moles. Since we know that anhydrate is smaller, what we will do is we're, we're going to divide both these numbers by the, um, uh, the mole amount of the anhydrate. So if we do 0 0.0369 divided by itself, we get 1. For water, we are also going to divide by the smaller amount. 
So we do 0 0.22 divided by 0 0.0396. That's going to give us an answer of 5.96 approximately. Since we need whole numbers, what we can do here is round up to the nearest whole number. That would be 6. So now we are ready to write our hydrate formula. We're going to start with FeCl3. Since there is only one of those present, we don't have to put a 1 in front of it. However, we have six molecules of water present, so we're going to put this and then 6H2O. Again, the parts of a hydrate include the anhydrate, the water, and together they make the hydrate. We have successfully made the hydrate formula. So, now the name of this hydrate would be iron 3 chloride. And the prefix for six is hexa. Hydrate. Hexa meaning six and hydrate meaning your water. The alternative to write this would be ferric chloride hexahydrate. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you. Thanks, Andres, for teaching us how to calculate the empirical formula of a hydrate.